This museum is one of the best in the country. Jesse, why don't you explore the museum yourself? In the meanwhile, I will visit the canteen. All right, Grandpa. See you then. Wow, such a huge map of India. It's so brilliant. But what's this pattern on it? Uh, who is this gentleman now? <sighs> hello, Mr. Moshier. I'm JC. Oh, hello, JC. I'm Mathaus Moshier. You can call me Matt. Matt, I have come with my grandpa to visit this amazing museum. Yes, it is. This is a very old museum. It has ancient as well as modern day maps. That's great, Matt. But what do you do? Why is your portrait here? Why? Relax, JC. I am a cartographer, and this museum is named after me. That's so cool, Matt. Such a big museum named after you. You must be a genius. Ha ha ha! I'm just a cartographer. What's that? Not what. But who, JC? Well, a cartographer is a person who makes maps and charts, and the art or technique of making maps or charts is called cartography. Wow! Did you make this map? Yeah, I made this map. Super cool! Hey, Matt, why are there so many squares on this map? Oh, these. Well, this is a grid. Matt, what's a grid? JC. A grid is basically a pattern of regularly spaced horizontal and vertical lines. Hmm. Grids help us to estimate areas and distances on maps. Oh, area and distance both. But how? JC, look at the map and tell me what's written on the bottom left side. Ah, the scale is. One centimeter is equal to two hundred kilometer. This is called a map scale. Matt, what's a map scale? This means that one centimeter on the map is equal to two hundred kilometers on the ground. Basically, the side of one square measures one centimeter on the map. And two hundred kilometers on the ground. Okay. We need the help of the map scale to find the distance between the two regions. Oh. In short, we can say that map scale is the relationship between a unit of length on the map and the corresponding length on the ground. Okay. J C, this scale is so accurate. That you can even find out the distance between two cities using it. Uh, can we find the distance between Mumbai and New Delhi? Sure, J C. Before that, let's find the distance on the map using this ruler. You have to place the ruler in between the two cities and find out the distance. The distance is six centimeter on the map. Correct, J C. Here. The length six centimeters stands for the distance on the map. So, the distance on the ground will be equal to the distance on the map multiplied by two hundred. Okay. That is six multiplied by two hundred, which is equal to one thousand two hundred kilometers. 
1,200 kilometers. Okay, so the estimated distance between Mumbai and Delhi is 1,200 kilometers. Exactly, JC. Now let's find out the distance between other cities. And this time, you will help me. Oh, sure, Matt. Let's find out the distance between Srinagar and um, Thiruvananthapuram. The distance between Srinagar and Thiruvananthapuram on the map is 15 centimeters. Yeah, you are right. Now, the estimated distance between them will be uh, 15 multiplied by 200. That is uh, 3000 kilometers. Well done, JC. Thanks, Matt. Matt, remember you told me that we can also find the area of a region using map scales? Yes, I remember, JC. Let's find out the area of any state. Yeah, we will find out the area of Maharashtra. So, let's count the total number of squares covering the land of Maharashtra. You have to count the whole squares as well as the squares which are more than half. Um, to count half or even more than half squares? Matt, can you please explain me this? JC, first count the whole squares. Sure, Matt. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 whole squares. Correct, JC. Now let's count the squares which are more than half. There are three such squares which are more than half. So in total, we have 5 plus 3 squares, that is 8 squares. Absolutely correct. JC, tell me what's the area of a square. Side multiplied by side. Correct. So the area of one square on this map will be 1 centimeter multiplied by 1 centimeter, that is 1 square centimeter, right? Yes. And the area of 1 square on the ground will be 200 kilometers multiplied by 200 kilometers. That is equal to 40,000 square kilometers. And the estimated area of Maharashtra on the ground will be Area of 1 square on the ground multiplied by 8 squares is equal to 3,20,000 square kilometers. 3,20,000 square kilometers. That's quite a big area, man. Let's find the area of a larger place than Maharashtra. What about the area of India? Oh, yes, Matt. I would like to know the area of India. Firstly, count the number of squares, JC. Sure, Matt. Oh, there are so many squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty. Matt. There are 80 squares. We can say that there are approximately 80 squares covering the mainland of India. Okay. So the estimated area of India on the ground is equal to the area of one square on the ground multiplied by 80. That is equal to 40,000 square kilometers multiplied by 80. That is equal to 32 lakh square kilometers. So, the estimated area is 32 lakh square kilometers. Wow! Such a large area! 32 lakh square kilometers. Come on, JC. After all, it's the area of the whole country. Yeah! JC, where is your grandpa? You mentioned that you came with him. Ooh. I completely forgot. Matt, I have to go now. He might be waiting for me at the canteen. Okay, bye JC. Thanks a lot Matt. And it was nice meeting you. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine JC. JC, how was your day? My day was awesome. That's good. How did you find the museum? Simply spectacular. Hey Grandpa, what's this? Oh, this. 
This is a pamphlet of this museum. Whoa. This pamphlet covers almost all the information about this museum. Hey, Grandpa. This is the same map of India that I saw earlier. It's just that it's smaller in size. Yes, JC. It has photos of all the maps which are in the museum. But Grandpa, that map was really huge. But over here... Look at the map scale here. 0.1 centimeters is equal to 200 kilometers. Grandpa, but in the actual map, it was 1 centimeter equal to 200 kilometers. That's the point, JC. To fit the map on a small piece of paper, the map is reduced. Oh, but how have they made it small? By using a map scale. Okay. With the help of map scales, we can enlarge or reduce the size of a map, keeping the shape of the map the same. Okay. The area and the distance will remain the same. Even if the map scale changes. Grandpa, that's great. <laughs> Jesse, let's go home now. Yeah, sure. It's time to revise all about grids and map scales now. A cartographer is a person who makes maps and charts. The art or technique of making maps or charts is called cartography. A grid is a pattern of regularly spaced horizontal and vertical lines. A grid helps to estimate the area and distance of a particular region on the map. The grid in the map is called map scale. Map scale is the relationship between a unit of length on a map and the corresponding length on the ground. A map scale is used to enlarge or reduce a map. 